Hey gang, I just wanted to um, share a quick uh, tip for something that I've been kind of playing with for a while. Um, something I just kind of figured out to, to do on my own. Some of you uh, may know that I do a lot of textures on my images. I'm starting to teach workshops um, regarding this. And one of my suggestions in the past has always been to go out and photograph things that have lots of texture if you want to make your own texture and something like this, you know, some driftwood uh, that I found, and it makes for a very nice texture. But what I started doing was playing with just normal photographs that I have and putting them through um, some pretty heavy-handed uh, photo editing with Topaz software and creating just completely unique uh, textures to be able to use on, on other images. So. Um, Basically, you can just go in through your files and just grab just about anything. Uh, let's see. Let's let's. This one's got a lot of color, so let's do this one. So I'm just going to open it in Photoshop, and you don't have to go through Photoshop for this. I just do that because I like to use uh, the layers. But you can uh, open Topaz directly from Lightroom if you want. Um, but I think the program that I enjoy using the most for this is actually Simplify. And so we'll open Simplify. And what I like to do is just take the uh, details. So I'm going to choose something like BuzzSim. And I'm going to take the Simplify size and really crank it up. And that just kind of blurs and, and mushes uh, most of my image, most of the image. And so you can take the details and make them down. And boost the size. Let me just play with these uh, sliders a little bit until everything just looks kind of like a hodgepodge of color. And you click OK and then you wait a terribly long time. And we're back. Um, and if this doesn't blur things quite enough, you can come into Photoshop and do things like go to the blur gallery and maybe try a, a lens blur or a motion blur or just just play with all of this stuff. Let's do let's do a motion blur and see what we get. Oh, that's interesting. I kind of like that. All right, so we blurred it up and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into Topaz Impression and I'm going to use Impression 1 for right now even though I've got Impression 2 just because Impression 2 is uh it, it takes a lot longer to process stuff, so I don't want you guys to have to wait. Um, some of my favorite ones to, to do this effect, that's the last thing I used. <laughs> it's going to load it automatically, uh, which actually looks kind of fun. Um, but I'm going to click on something like Abstraction. And I'm going to come in here and play with the different uh, brush strokes. That one's kind of fun. And what I like to do is come down to the color panel and play with uh, some of the individual colors because right now um, orange is standing out quite a bit and so I'm going to select the orange and I'm going to desaturate it a little bit. Um, maybe brighten it. That kind of, that subdues it a little bit. And you could even change the hue altogether if I wanted yellow or very hot pink. <laughs> Drag it back and forth and see what you get. Blue, I kind of like the blue. That looks neat. Uh, but just come in here and, and, and play because it really doesn't matter what you end up with. It just, it, I have taken a normal photograph and turned it into something really wild that can be used as a texture on other photographs. And I'm going to put a link in the uh, newsletter to show you how to use textures on photographs. I'm not going to bore you with that right now. Um, I just wanted you to uh, have kind of another technique to add to your bag of tricks um, that might help you create your own textures in the future. Have fun. Let me see what you get.